If I understand the antinatalist position correctly, um, I believe that it goes something like this. Suffering is inevitable to the sentient, to the sentient being. And since sentience is a function of biological life, if we end biological life, <clears throat> we end sentience, which takes suffering along with it to the non-existence. Correct me if I'm wrong, antinatalists, I don't want to uh, straw man anybody. But that's the way I understand it. Now, the problem with that, the way I see it is, we don't ultimately know what the relationship of consciousness is to the physical universe. We don't know what the relationship of consciousness is even to the human body. We're not 100% sure that killing someone off actually puts an end to their consciousness. The old uh, saying about, well, we don't know where we came from, we don't fear what came before life, so why should we fear what comes after death? Well, yeah, that kind of says the same thing in a different way. Now, <clears throat> this um, point of view that uh, we're not sure whether or not consciousness uh, has any concrete link to the physical universe is generally dismissed as either pointless, in other words, we can't do anything with it, or pretty crackpot. But uh, in uh, the context of a discussion where the main topic is the voluntary auto-extinction of the human race, I think I can dispense with any worries about being considered a crackpot. <laughs> um, just being involved in this is kind of Monty Python-esque, if you ask me. Now, <clears throat> I'm willing to grant, though, that all of our information to date seems to indicate that um, consciousness does arise from living things. It seems to indicate this, even though we're not sure. But let's say we're 99.99999% sure. Well... Considering what's at stake, the universe would have to be a pretty ghastly place for me to risk the existence of the human race on even those odds. Um, you know, you sort of think, well, what if we are wrong? What if it's that one chance in a gazillion that uh, my idea, or my at least questioning of the nature of consciousness and its relationship to the human, to the uh, human body or the physical world, is wrong, or is right actually? <laughs> We um, wipe ourselves out as a race, and then we set, stand around looking stupid because we suddenly, you know, we realize our consciousness is still here, even though we've done ourselves in. It'd be a bit embarrassing to find oneself in that position, floating around uh, dis disembodied in the cosmos. <clears throat> now, as I say, the universe would have to be pretty awful for me to play even those nearly sure thing odds. Which brings me really to the point of this video. Um, everybody seems to be, or I shouldn't say everybody, but the antinatalist um, community in general seems to believe or hold that uh, it is axiomatic that suffering outweighs suffering's opposite in this plane of existence, I guess we'd call it, the universe, whatever. Um, I'd like to see where people come up with that figure. I mentioned a clumsy figure, 50-50 before, but uh, that doesn't really explain ultimately what I believe. I would say that um, over the course of the entirety of the universe and its existence, things pretty much even out. Um, suffering is pretty much always counterbalanced by suffering's opposite, and um, I don't believe that uh, the choice in this equation is a simple one between pleasure and suffering. Because you can have an orgasm even though you're deeply depressed. A uh, chocolate cake still tastes good after you've been flogged. For all I know, it might even taste good while you're being flogged. I have no idea. I've never been in that position before. So we've got to get our terminology straight here. What is it about the universe that is so bad, and what makes people believe that it's more bad than good? 
roughly, generally speaking. I have yet to see, to see anyone attempt to address that problem, logically. Whatever you say about the prevalence of suffering in the universe can be counteracted by the presence of suffering's opposite. Um, it's kind of a number, numbers game here, and it, uh, if you ask me, it adds up to so much uncertainty that it really brings into question the uh, desirability of cooking up the idea of uh, reducing humanity to zero. <laughs> Thank you.